Tracy and Dustin here and we're actually right now on the way to a coffee shop to get some work done. We luckily have our sun being watched today so we're taking advantage of it and really getting into some massive action. Going to do a little active uh, recruiting and prospecting online right now. Really getting into high gear for our business. Kicking things off to start this year off big. And what we wanted to talk to you about in today's video is the power of ratios and tracking your results in your business. You see, a lot of people start their businesses without any real clear idea of what they're doing. You know, they kind of come in and expect instant gratification. They, they do some things here and there and expect some results. But the reality is, is that in order to get better results in your business, you have to become better yourself. You have to improve your skill set. And the only way to do that is by tracking your actions and tracking your results. Wouldn't you agree, Dustin? Oh my God, yeah. I would totally agree on that because, you know, even in my own experience, when I start to learn a new marketing strategy, when I go out there and try to start doing new things, how do I know if I'm good at it or not? How do I know what I need to improve on? And the only way to do that is to start tracking your results. And guess what? You can't track your results if you don't have any data to put in there. Yeah, exactly. And so one of the, the best ways to, to start tracking your results, you know, you might be thinking, well, I don't have leads yet. I don't have sales yet. So the first thing that you can start tracking is your actions. What are you doing on a daily basis? Are you exposing your business to enough people? Are you creating content? You know, are you just building relationships? Or are you kind of just watching trainings, clicking on things here and there, maybe putting out a piece of content and, and kind of just hoping for the best? If that's where you're at, then I can honestly tell you that that is why you're not getting results and so the first thing that you're if you're in that position is to start tracking your actions now if you're someone who is getting some leads here and there maybe you got a sign up or two the best thing for you to start doing in addition to tracking your actions is also tracking your daily results how many leads are you getting compared um, compared to how many clicks you're getting you know how many sales are you getting to leads start tracking that stuff on a daily basis too and what you'll start to find is you know maybe out of every hundred people you're getting three signs Signups, or uh, what are some other examples? So, like, like if you're getting signups or leads, how many people do? How many? Let's just say, for instance, you're doing Facebook marketing, active marketing. You're out there trying to recruit people, okay? And you send a hundred messages. Well, out of those hundred messages, if you get a conversion and you get five, three to five people that are actually going to sign up with you, then that's how you can start getting that data. But you won't ever know until you go out there and actually active promote. Yes, exactly. So what we, what you want to do is take that big goal. Let's say you want to focus on it takes 300 people for you to get five signups. Okay, you're going to break that 300 down into a daily, a daily action plan. So um, let's say you want to get five signups over a month's time. For a lot of people, that is huge. If you can get five signups consistently into your business every month, you will grow and you will eventually be free. You will be able to take that and duplicate it and make it bigger. So 300 people comes out to 10 people a day. Do you think it's possible to expose your business to 10 people a day? In most cases, absolutely it is. You can find a way to do that. So that's what we want to leave you with is go out there and start tracking all of your actions, all of your marketing, you know, everything that you're doing, and then start also tracking those leads, sales, everything else on the back end so that you can start finding out what your ratio is and finding ways to improve that and get better. Any final thoughts? Yeah, actually, I would, I would just ask you this real quick question. If you think that you would, your life would be improvement, you would make an improvement in your life and your skill set to be able to have a, p, a tangible piece of something like an Excel document or some kind of sheet where you could actually track your results on and you would like Tracy and I to actually like kind of make one for you, let us know in the comments section below so we know what to better serve you with to help you with your business. All right, and with that, it's time to go crush it. We're about to be at the coffee shop and we're going to go make it happen. Bye.